to begin with you install it with the setup application here so you double click on setup and it will go through the installation procedure then open the program then we move on to entering a customer this is a lengthy procedure so bear with me we first begin by entering the name house number street address town country county I mean then country postcode home phone number work phone number And when is it convenient to call? Well, she likes being called in the evening by phone. So we save that. And then we get up here an actual data reference in the data grid. Now, when we go to, we can actually now select a job such as repairs and services, unlocking. Purchases or internal. Now, before we do that, I'm just going to show you the search function. This is a search function. You can search by postcode, but we're not going to do a. We can search by I M E I, forename, surname, date, street, postcode, mobile model. Now the customer records, this is the important section which I'm trying to tell you in this video. This is where you can actually update records. Okay. This is where you can actually update records. So for instance we have one record here with that name and you can scroll through the fields as you can see so say you want to change the postcode or home phone number just double double click inside it then you can change it press return and that's changed the data but before it's actually committed to the database your changes you need to go down here and click update then the changes are saved to the database now you can do this in customer records your internal job records your unlocking records phone sent away records purchases records and repairs and services records you can make changes to all those records as well as the customer records but first of all you've got to search for your data you could actually just scroll because it does fill it with all the data available but you could just scroll through it and find the relevant information you can organize it by ID in ascending or descending order you can organize it by first name last name in alphabetical order but always remember down here you have to click update to get the actual data saved to the database so we're going to close that down now Hussein I thought I'd finished the um, pro application but I forgot I had like the rest of the search features to actually implement all I've implemented is the postcode so far search so you can search via postcode but none of the other records so what I'm going to do is get cracking on today 
with the rest of the search features and it should be finished by tomorrow or Christmas Day. Good, have a good one.